What is up, YouTube? I am currently going to show you how to install the 32-bit version of the Feed the Beast mod pack. Uh, first, to start out, you are going to want to go to feedthebeast.com. Once that page is loaded, you want to go to the Download tab. It's going to bring you over here. And you could decide to download the jar or the exe. In this case, I am going to download the jar because it is going to serve purpose in later videos you're going to want to make sure you click keep and then it is going to download i'm going to make this window just a little smaller and then i'm going to get this onto my desktop now here it is for most people it's simple as simply running it but for some people it's not going to be quite as simple so over here in our google chrome which is the default browser i am using i'm going to want to go to java and then type in download. Okay, you are going to want to go to the first one, the java.com slash get java. Click free java download. Then click agree and start download. My internet's pretty quick, so it's going to download it ratherly fast. I'm going to move this to, or my bad, run this. Select yes. Install. It is installing. I'm going to go ahead and close this background window. And we are installed. Yay! Do not include McAfee. It is now going to install. My bad. Um. Quick bit of information, computers, printers, routers, cell phones, Blackberry, Kindle, parking meters, transpo public transportation passes, ATMs, credit card home cards, home security systems, cable boxes, and TVs all run Java. If you didn't know that, well now you do. Okay, so you're going to want to click close. And at this point, if everything's set up right, you should simply be able to run the FTB launcher. And is first off going to make some files right here. And it is going to load up. A window. This is your Feed the Beast console. As you can see, we're running Java. Very nice. So that is it. You have the Feed the Beast mod pack installed. For basic stuff, just you're gonna want to go ahead and go new profile. I set already have mine set up. So that is it. Um, news. This launcher tells you news about stuff. Um, the options, you could always, of course, click Force Update and Force Update your stuff. Change the install directory, adjust your RAM. Mine is currently set at 1 gigabyte for the 32-bit Java. I'll show you how to use 64-bit Java and use more rem memory in, six in um, future videos. Language, English, you don't want to change these sizes because it always changes. For your mod pack, here are your things. You have the Feed the Beast pack beta A, um, Minecraft version 1.4.2. You have the Voxel mod pack version 7 for Minecraft 1.4.5 by the Voxel mod pack team. You have the Feed the Beast retro survival single player version 3, Minecraft version 1.2.5 by the Feed the Beast team. Universal Electricity Pack version 6, Minecraft version 1.4.5, by Cal Clavia, pardon me if I mispronounced that. And the last one is Magic World version 3, or Minecraft version, or it's the map version 3, Minecraft version 1.4.5, by the Feed the Beast team. I want to show you how you could add a mod, for example, at Edit Mod Pack. You're going to need to launch the, pr the game before you could do this. Here are all the current mods installed. If you wanted to add a mod, you would just click Add Mod, find where it is, and it would automatically add it. If it's a jar mod, for, such as Minecraft Forge, where it would need to go into the Minecraft directory itself, not the mods folder, for if you're using Mod Loader, it would need to go into here. If you're using a core mod, like Chicken Chunks, or Code Chicken Core, or Not Enough Items, it would need to go into Core Mods. Let's go ahead and close that. Maps. There is Feed the Beast Normal version 2 by the Feed the Beast team. And there is Feed the Beast Insanity by Feed the Beast team. I'll show you those in later videos. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to install those. And then, the thing that's grayed out over here is texture packs. There are texture packs for the game. 
Eh, not going to go into much detail on that right now. So, that's about it for installing the launcher, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, comment, rate, and pretty soon I'll be showing you how to use a 64-bit launcher. Thanks, and talk to you soon.